okay so in this episode we are going to log in a new user with the status that means if the status is zero then we restrict the login but if the status is one we will continue its login and also if the status is zero we have to say a message that you are not an active person please contact admin so let's see how we will do that thing all these things in this episode so with that i am your host sarthak this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's just go to admin section and here we have i have logged in already with a sarthak as a user so let's go to users part and if i say here edit you can see status is ticked that means it is active person but i think what we need we can show the status here in the table so so let's go to sublime and resources views admin user show here we have this thing so i can say let's just select this because we have footer also so one more time so here i will say uh, a status so i have now done this status part in footer and in the header in one mode in one simultaneously so next what we have to do we have to provide the status so after role we have to provide the status so i will copy this one paste it here and here i will say status but let's see how it's look like so yeah one and one but one and one is not good what i can do i can say if status is one that then I have to say yes or instead of yes I can say active else I will say not active simple okay so let's go refresh and yes both are active so let's make one person an inactive person but what happened it's not inactive okay so let's firstly correct this one so because when i go to this edit part you can see our checkbox having the value of one if the person is uh, active person but if i unselect this we will not get anything so let's go to controller which is inside app http controller admin user controller and here on the update part let's just return request all and let's see what we are getting so if i not select status submit it you can see we don't have any status so in that case status is not going to change so what we can do firstly we can say dollar request arrow status question mark that means we are checking if status have some value or not if we have then don't do anything otherwise after this colon so before the colon we have yes part after the colon we have no part so if we don't have any status part so i will push status inside this request so is equal to zero and close this line so what i have done here if status is there then do nothing and otherwise give the status value zero so save this close it and go back you can see it's now checked now uncheck it submit and not active great so let's log out from here and once more go refresh yeah so let's try to log in and one two three four five six uh, we can still log in okay so let's restrict the user with login so again go again go to sublime and i will this time go to auth folder and this login controller and now if i go to authenticate users you can see we have this 
function called credentials so we have to override this credentials function in our login controller so let's paste that function here so credentials are here now what we have to do we have to return an array which having email which is dollar request arrow email then the password so password which is again one more time dollar request arrow password and next this time we will provide an status field also so status value one and close this line so we have given instead of only username and password that means the email and the password we are giving email password and status as one so Laravel have to check these three fields so now if I log out and log in again Sarthak 1 2 3 4 5 6 hit enter and credentials does not match very nice so if I go to SQL Pro refresh you can see Sarthak is inactive status is 0 but so if I hit uh, it as a 1 and now try to log in 1 2 3 4 5 6 and yes we can log in that means our active or inactive system is properly working so let's now inactivate this person and log out try to log in one two three four five six and yes but I don't like this message because credentials are there but status is not active so let's change this one so for this we have to again go to authenticate users and here you can see in the login function if login fails then it will increment login attempt and send login response here is the error came from so you can see this is the error part so if I die and dump errors and that means the dollar errors and go back one more time try to log in you can see these credentials does not match this is actually the error but we have to modify this error and how we will do that let's see so firstly what I will do I will get fields which fields the credentials so for that I have to say dollar this arrow credentials okay and here I have to provide request so it's very simple and easy it's just like this um, where is that yeah this one it's just like this we are giving these things so this time I will die and dump fields so let's now go refresh one more time and yeah we are getting these three fields status email and password so this is the thing we are giving from here this credential part so if I say zero from here refresh it it's <laughs> making login because it's getting all these things so one more time one two three four five six and oh, I have to make it refresh it is one make it one and let's log out refresh and yes you can see the status is zero so one more time make it zero okay and this status is coming coming from this okay but we want to have some message kind of things so what we have to do let's one two three four five six yeah okay so firstly we will get the user from these credentials we are not going to log in the user but just getting these details 
so admin colon colon and here I have to say where uh, email is dollar request arrow email and get the first one okay so we have our user and let's make it inside a array and now as we have the admin that means the user particular which is trying to log in then we have to check if admin arrow is status is equal to zero then we are going to pass some weird thing let's see what that so here the password we are passing as a credential which is like you are not an active uh, person please try please contact admin this is the actual uh, message we are trying to send and what email I'm giving I'm giving email as inactive uh, pretty uh, confusing thing but I will make sure these thing will uh, not going to bother you but you will understand this thing just in a few minute so else cop move these things so let's see what is going on here so we are getting whenever we are whenever a user try to log in it will land on this function these details land on this function and we, firstly we are getting that user from the database we check the status if status is zero we are making email as inactive and password as our original message okay and you can change it uh, if you want you can say message okay so this will also work but <laughs> I'm trying to make all these same so email inactive message is this if this is wrong that's that means the status is one then continue with this thing okay so let's see now next is what so next we have to go here in our send failed login response here we are giving these things so now try to log in and refresh and it says unknown column message in the where column uh, yeah that's that's why I think I have used password here okay not a problem refresh one more time you can see password is you are not an active person and email is inactive but what we have to do with these things so let's go here and here instead of die and dump I will say if fields uh, fields uh, email is equal to inactive then make errors as request arrow password boom else what we have to do we can give these proper thing okay so now if we are getting email as inactive then we return error as this one otherwise it will continue our original Laravel error part so let's try to log in one more time refresh and it says one two three four five six this is actually the original um, password we are passing so there is some kind of problem problem is because we are passing request password instead of what we have to say fields password so let's try to log in one more time sarthak one two three four five six and it says trying to get the property of a non-object okay I think it should be like this okay so let's one more try and you are not an active person please contact admin if I say some weird username and password let me email and password we are getting this so now this time it didn't find any kind of admin from the database so what we can do so firstly we have to check whether we have any person or not so count of admin we have then we will give all these things 
so if we found that any kind of person with these qualities then that's good otherwise what we are going to do we are going to give these things so let's go refresh and credential does not match but if I go try to log in with Sarthak you are not an active person but if I try to log in with uh, maybe I think Bitfumes Bitfumes and yeah we can log in so we have successfully created all these things so next part is to restrict user to accessing various details which are not provided not permitted and as a role as a permissions so all these things in this episode in this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram we will meet in the next episode Share this video with your friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel. And till then, goodbye.